huge amount of planning goes into organising every rally. There are a number of safety features which help a driver during the race. And if a driver crashes, the emergency services are on hand to provide help. So Craig, we've seen the big difference between a rally car and a road car. We all know that an event is carried out on an everyday roads, but it's just not quite the same though, is it? Yeah, obviously in, in rallying everything is, is in a controlled environment. Uh, there's a massive emphasis on safety. And each stage, uh, obviously on, on, road, on closed roads at the time, um, there's obviously martial points within the stage. Um, different medical, there's obviously medical assistance at the start and finish of each stage. Uh, you've got uh, fire extinguisher points throughout the stage. Um, you've got a whole massive group of people and team behind uh, the running of the event. And yeah, okay, competition is what, we're there for, what everyone is there for at the end of the day, but the number one priority is safety. So it's, it's a perfect environment to, uh, to get, get that rush, uh, that adrenaline rush out. Obviously, when, when you're driving every day, you've got so many elements, uh, you know, the biggest one being other road users uh, coming in the opposite direction. But when we are doing our sport, it's on a completely closed road, um, close to the public. And yeah, you're on your own and you're, you have complete confidence that when you're driving on the stage, you're not going to meet anybody. And tell us about, you have pace notes there to tell you exactly where you're going. Yeah, another big difference is that, yeah, you've got, you've got pace notes, which we do the day before the event or the days preceding com coming towards the event. And basically, we describe, we describe the complete road, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, it gives, it gives you a set of eyes, maybe, uh, you know, 50 or 100 metres in the distance. Um, and then the biggest thing, again, is to market any, any big dangers uh, and you're completely aware of what, what you're coming towards. Whereas, you know, on a public road, uh, if you're not familiar where you're going, you just, you never know what the dangers that lie ahead of you. Five left minus. Minus 80, 4 left, 80, 3 right minus, 60, 3 left, 100. And in a rally it's true that all the uh, frontline emergency services are present? That's it, uh, there'll be ambulance services, Red Cross, um, obviously there'll be uh, a rescue team that are there and they've been trained to cope uh, with you know what everyone dread, dreads to hear is which is bad accidents um, but yeah it's it's the perfect environment um, everybody is, is trained professionals uh, and ready to assist of you know any any horrible situation that anyone gets into so if you happen to be in a crash at a rally the services will be there within a couple of minutes immediately yeah uh, which i think is a big difference to uh, on, on a public road you know if, if you're driving on a public road uh, you could be in quite a remote area when, when you have an accident and the chances of getting the emergency services to you in, in, in as quick a time as possible is is quite slim so yeah in, in rallying you're in the perfect environment you're never more than you know five ten minutes away from uh, from first aid you know which is yeah which is fantastic as you've seen, rallying is nothing like driving on a public road. It takes place in a controlled environment on closed roads by highly trained drivers.